Hello, everybody. Uh, the talk will be quite short, I suppose. Um, as we saw this morning, and Yara presented, uh, we as a community, we have, I think, something to take care of. Is the number, is the user, or are the users? So we are putting a lot of effort in, in, the, in our work in uh, integrating, sharing data. But in the end, the number of the users matters because once, if someone asks you why you are doing that, if you are answering that you are working just for one user, that's a problem. So we are targeting probably thousands or uh, millions of people with, uh, with our uh, work. Uh, just to briefly, briefly introduce myself, uh, I'm working uh, mainly in a web lab, I mean, together with web is focused on uh, the immune system and we are going to working on uh, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and uh, in the near future working on a single cell stuff for NGS. Uh, from uh, the bioinformaticians point of view uh, we have a lot of uh, tools that are the minimal building blocks for dealing with the RDF or SPARQL uh, data. Uh, and uh, from the provider's point of view, uh, this is an example from uh, NCV, uh, EVI. Uh, we have a lot of resources, but uh, uh, yesterday I asked Simon to get some data, set, data stats uh, about the, uh, their usage. And uh, the conclusion is that it's not bad, but it's not enough to justify uh, EVI to switch to support completely SparkQL and uh, uh, RDF. Another uh, things that they notice is that uh, their data uh, have, are being dumped by industry uh, for their internal private hosting. Uh, the point is that they cannot have feedbacks from uh, uh, what the industry is doing with their uh, data sets. So, um, as a bioinformatician, we also need to support uh, the, the, the resources that uh, we have uh, on um, on internet. And uh, the people at EBI, in this case, uh, is uh, James Malone. Uh, the, sorry for the image, but uh, well, uh, he created our, our package to uh, download and analysis uh, their data set that is uh, the uh, Gene Expression Atlas. Uh, from EBI, and uh, as you can see from the image on the left side, on the right side, uh, you can notice that the number of users is not uh, as much as expected. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not enough. And uh, there are many applications that are using or consuming SparkQL endpoints, but uh, in the end, these applications are not killer application, at least uh, uh, for me. And uh, from the bio biomedical researchers, uh, all the effort that we are putting into uh, integrating everything is uh, not consumable, I would say, because uh, uh, every time I need to, to deal with uh, their requirements or their requests, uh, they are dealing with heat maps, uh, getting information from uh, uh, genotypes uh, or integrating uh, chipset data. Actually, I don't know how to integrate this information in, uh, in a SparkQL or in a semantic web uh, fashion, let's say. So this week I would like to explore with you uh, how to integrate these, uh, these results. Also because these results are changing quickly, so they are producing a lot of analysis and maybe just for exploring different kind of analysis. And uh, most of the time, uh, as I said, there is the need to integrate, but uh, most of the bioinformaticians or low-level bioinformaticians they are saying that it's better to have a just huge table which is simpler than uh, creating a very complicated system and uh, i think that we need to think about how to bootstrap a community of a user uh, which are not just us but other people that are not uh, uh, exposed to this kind of meeting so we need to create libraries for uh, query easily the resources, uh, a way to describe the experiment and collect results, uh, even if not in uh, RDF. And think about the R people, because most of the scientists are dealing and uh, making analysis using 
are. And uh, you have also to consider that small labs like ours or other uh, labs like the PTP in Italy, uh, they are going to produce a data set that are filling all our servers uh, or similar servers that uh, Jorgen described today uh, in the morning. So I think that we must to build a hybrid solution for dealing technically with the semantic web or Spark UL queries, encourage developers to, uh, or also the open bio community probably, to support uh, all the API that you are uh, designing and uh, immediately and uh, try to find a way to provide uh, immediate uh, benefits for the uh, Armed by informatician, let's say, or data scientists. And uh, actually, we need to write uh, some very high impact biological paper which justify the use of semantic web. So the PIs uh, can say, oh, wow, this is a very cool and nice technology that we need to support because without money, we can do nothing. That's it. Probably. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>